What's happening, everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad down here in the Dirty Dirty Premier Leather Crafters. Uh, and I'm about to go in and start cutting my pieces up. And what I want to show you guys was this right here. I've already pre-marked these, so I kind of um, uh, kind of cut out a few steps. But I measured my base at 16, 16 inches. And then I have my two arms right here that I measured at about 18 inches. I'm a tall guy, so you can make those adjustments how you want to. Uh, whether you want a 14-inch arm or 18 or 16-inch arm, you can do whatever you choose. But I already have these marked out. And then I have my spacer pieces down here. Um, and then my, my pincher tips that's going on the top of my, my arms. I already have these measured out at three and a half. And then I have my two spacer pieces. So if you go and you buy a six foot board like this is, this is a six foot uh, one by four pine, $4.82 at Lowe's. You can buy those there. And uh, you should have about seven inches on the bottom that's left. Um, give or take. But I'm going to use these pieces just in the event that I might want to make my pinchers a little bit wider, depending on the type of work that you do. So, but really, I'm going to go out, uh, got my compound miter saw here, which is kind of important to have your miter saw, because this is going to make the angles on the tip of your pinchers when it's going to grab your work. So, but let me go ahead and get to cutting these out. So, it's going to be a little noisy, but... Uh, and now what I, I the way I laid this out was I laid this out so I'm going to cut the line completely out. So when I get ready to set my miter saw down, I want my saw blade to take the line out as opposed to now sometimes some people will tell you to either cut on the left side or the right side, but I want to use all of my boards so I'm going to cut the line completely out. So here we go. Let's get started and cut this real quick so this is going to move fast. So, as you guys can see, it doesn't take a long time to cut your pieces out, but here you go. Here's my two arms. Now, what I'm going to go back and do next, I'm going to take these two pieces. I'm going to glue these two together and let these set overnight, and then I'll come back with my miter saw tomorrow, set my angle. Uh, now, if you don't have a miter saw, not a problem. You still can cut these with a regular hand saw if you have a box, uh, what they call a... Um, I forget the proper name for it, but uh, it's a, a box saw, so you can cut your angles in here a, as you need them. And the only difference is, as opposed to doing it with the compound miter saw, where I can slant my angles, uh, the only thing you'll put it in a box uh, box saw, and then you'll cut your angles at this this way here. So you still can do it if you have a hand saw, if you don't have a miter saw, but. I would encourage you, you know, I think I bought this at Harbor Freight. Y'all, you guys already know I'm an advocate for Harbor Freight. I spent a lot of money at Harbor Freight, but I paid $39.99 for this compound miter saw at Harbor Freight. So even if you want to get off and building your own tables in your shops or building any type of a, a, 
uh, uh, anything in the shop, shelves or whatever. These little these little jewels right here come in very handy. So I'm gonna cut the video on this one, but like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these together. I'm gonna use my same well wood uh, uh, glue that I use in a lot of my leather work. It's also good for using in wood, so I don't have to go out and spend any extra money on that. Clamp these down overnight, make sure that they set overnight, and then I'm gonna wrap them in my leather. And then we'll cut the angles and all that stuff. So you guys stay tuned. So it will be another video behind this. Possibly with the, well, hopefully with the finished pieces and everything will be put together. So like I said, hey, this is all about saving money for the small guy. You don't have to spend. I spent a fraction of the cost. Now if you got it like that to where you want to spend the $40 or the $50 or whatever the cost may be at your um local uh wherever you buy your leather supplies at and you want to buy you a stitcher pony already built but it didn't take what five minutes to cut my wood it's going to take longer for the glue to dry than actually for me to put this together so and i spent only about 13 dollars and i did it all myself so hey see you guys on the other side with the finished pieces on there you know y'all take it easy this robert the leather cowboy right here at premier leather crafters See you on the other side.